Hi dear fans, friends and subscribers. A warm welcome to you all cricket uh, um, uh, friends and subscribers on Cricket Happenings. Well, yesterday I, I was talking to you about the test match at Lords uh, which went down all the way down to the last over of the day. The last ball of the day was also very, very important. And finally we saw that. And thanks for your great response, dear friends and subscribers. Uh, well, I'm having a sort of sore throat, but you know, cricket is so dear to me. I just can't away, be away from this cricket excitement. And let me tell you, today we have one of those sensational matches that happened here uh, at, the, um, um, at the National Stadium here in Dhaka where Bangladesh were clashing with India in the second one day international. I mean, I mean, if you look at the match, uh, you will really feel surprised. Uh, Taskin Ahmed was the one who was actually making his uh, debut today. And you know, he's a, he's a real quick and he was making his debut and he returned figures, uh, the best figures ever uh, by a debutant as far as Bangladesh is concerned in ODIs by really, really sinking India to their knees uh, by, by capturing a five wicket bag in his very, very first one day international in his career, as he had figures of 8 overs, no maiden, 28 runs, and 5 wickets. And this Indian innings uh, were, were folded for 105. They were folded for 105, but uh, one thing was that this particular pitch uh, was definitely aiding the seam movement. Uh, for the, this, this, this pitch had everything to offer. As far as the ball was really pitched in the right, uh, on the right areas, the pitch was actually doing the rest. And that's what really helped. But you know, in, India made 105 all out. Uh, even though India made 105 all out, uh, uh, Bangladesh were, I mean, can you believe this? Bangladesh lost this match by the duckworth Lewis method because this match was reduced by 41 uh, reduced to 41 overs and India losing the India winning this match by 47 runs first it was Taskin Ahmed the uh, ODI debutant from Bangladesh and after that it was Stuart Binney uh, of India who returned the best figures ever by in a one day international uh, by an Indian as he broke the uh, record which was held by the uh, the famed uh, leg spinner Anil Kumble once upon a time uh, he had six wickets for 12 runs and today look at the balling figures that Stuart Binney conjured up. Four point would have made his father, uh, form, his father who was a former cricketer was also part of the 19, 1983 World Cup squad under Kapil Dev. Uh, feel very proud about his son today. Uh, Stuart Binney returned figures of 4.4 overs, two maidens, four runs and six wickets. Six wickets for four runs is the best ever uh, figures by uh, an Indian bowler uh, in a one day international and then he was he got Mohit Sharma gave him good support 8 overs to many 22 runs and 4 wickets the only difference being for Bangladesh not only was there a lot of seam movement in the pitch but um, uh, due to the when Bangladesh were batting there was some awkward bounce too but it was very essential for the ballers to ball in the right way and Stuart Binney and Mohit Sharma stuck to that task and look at Stuart Binney the man of the match I mean one can't uh, really, really stop admiring these balling figures. 4.4 overs, 2 maidens, 4 runs and 6 wickets. And Bangladesh were absolutely, India folded, India were sunk to their knees for 105. Uh, but Bangladesh, well, I can only blame them. There were a lot of injudicious strokes being played on this particular pitch. And Bangladesh couldn't even defend a score of 105. And they were all out for 58. And this is a really, really a sad thing for Bangladesh. And not only that, India won the match by 47 runs by the Duckworth Lewis method at the Sherry Bangla National Stadium. And well, I can only say that India have already won the series because there's only three matches to go, there's only one match to come day after tomorrow. But that didn't really matter. In fact, India have taken a 2 0 lead in this one day series. And Bangladesh, I, I really, really can't believe this that Bangladesh were rolled out for 58, not even able to defend a score of 105. So let's look at the story, but uh, I also see there's another match which is going on uh, between West Indies and New Zealand currently. I will come back to that later. Uh, right now I see that West Indies have lost the night watchman Ben. They are 60 for 2. We'll come back to that later, but let's talk about this particular match. I just want to recount the whole tale to you in a perfect manner. Well, uh, India and Bangladesh clashing in the uh, second one day international of the series here. Uh, at the Shere Bangla National Stadium in Bhutpur. There was not a much of a, a crowd today uh, to watch this particular match. Uh, there were two debuts today. One was for Taskin Ahmed, as I said. Uh, he was the 
a star debutant but only as far as Indian innings was finished but once the Bangladeshi innings started and ended Task in Ahmed was forgotten because Task in Ahmed even though he did a great job the Bangladeshi batsmen couldn't really come up with the goods and India were the proud victors now as far as this particular match was concerned the Bangladesh it was a very good toss to win according to me uh, in fact <coughs> Bangladesh won the toss and immediately decided to insert India in uh, the openers Robin Uthapai and Rahane were severely tested by Mashrava Murtaza right from the uh, um, right from the time the match started we saw there was real seam movement and uh, Mashrava Murtaza was the one who provided the breakthrough by first uh, dismissing Ajinkya Rahane uh, LBW for a duck after that uh, Robin Uthapai uh, tried to pull a delivery from Taskin Ahmed which was angled in and Ziaur Rahman took the catch he was gone for 14 of 24 balls with two fours that made the score 26 for 2. Uh, Chateshwar Pujara and Ambati Raidu at the crease. The next to go was Ambati Raidu. As Task in Ahmed who was getting the ball to jag in. Uh, as I said, he is a person. Uh, one is told that uh, in Bangladesh he is the, he's the, uh, he's a, he's the pace bowler uh, who is pretty quick. In the sense, uh, he is the fastest bowler now available uh, um, on the land in Bangladesh. And, um, well, Task in Ahmed got his uh, first wicket that of Robin Uthapa. But the second wicket that he got was of, of um, Ambati Raidu. When Ambati Raidu got a ball which came in and Ambati Raidu was trapped on the pad, he was gone. LBW bowled task in Ahmed for one. Uh, and after that, Chateshwar Pujara uh, was the uh, next to go as Chateshwar Pujara uh, was also hit on the back pad and he was also a victim. Uh, bow LBW bowled task in Ahmed for 11 uh, and that made the score uh, 55 for 4 uh, at that stage in the 14th over. Uh, and then uh, the, uh, that was the fourth wicket to go. After that, Vidiman Saha walked in, but Vidiman Saha couldn't last long as Mashrafe Murtaza uh, got a ball which trapped him on the pads. He was dismissed for five. Um, Shurey Shraina came in and showed some aggression. There were also some short pitch deliveries at Shurey Shraina. Well, Shurey Shraina really, really um, uh, played very aggressively. In fact, he was the highest scorer. If you look at the whole match, Shurey Shraina was the highest scorer with 27 runs. So he was run out for 27 of 23 balls, 3 fours. That, uh, that meant that uh, you know, uh, 5 wickets were down for India at 65. In fact, when Suresh Raina left, uh, they were 66 for 6. Uh, after, that, um, uh, after that, it was uh, pretty uh, quickly wrapped up by uh, Bangladesh uh, with uh, Stuart Bini uh, out caught behind of Taskin Ahmed for 3. And then Akshar Patel uh, was bowled by Allah Amin Hussain for 8. Amit Mishra. LBW bowled task in Ahmed for four. Mohit Sharma was not out on four. And Umesh Yadav uh, did uh, some good hitting towards the end. Uh, and when he, was, he was claimed by Shakib Al Hassan. 17 of 13 balls, two fours and one six. And uh, India were all out for 105. They couldn't even play their entire 41 overs. And they were all out in 25.3 overs. Yes, the, there was definitely some help for the bowlers. There's no doubt about it. But task in Ahmed, coupled with his pace, was getting good seam movement. And that really, really, it looked like, uh, you know, it looked like an English condition pitch today. Uh, let's look at the bowling figures. Uh, Mashrafe Murtaza, 9 overs, 1 maiden, 2 for 35 for uh, Mashrafe Murtaza. Al Ami Hussain, 5 overs, 1 maiden, 1 for 26. Uh, Taskin Ahmed, as I said, star. Uh, that was the best figures returned, um, uh, best figures returned by uh, ODI debutant as far as Bangladesh is concerned. And the first, um, a Bangladeshi bowler to take five wickets on his one-day international debut. Eight overs, no maiden, 28 runs and five wickets. Ziar Rahman, one over for two runs and Shakib Lassan uh, bowling 2.3 overs, no maiden, eight runs and one wicket. As far as uh, Bangladesh were concerned, well, Bangladesh started off. Uh, in fact, uh, Tami Mikbal, the very first delivery that he got from Mohit Sharma, came down the wicket and cracked him for a boundary. But the very next delivery, uh, that was one too many. I thought with a score of 105, uh, you know, Atami Mikbal could have really, really, um, you know, uh, been at the crease, uh, just watching how the ball was doing and then play strokes. But I thought that was a very, very, uh, very silly shot by Abhi Mikbal, once again coming down the wicket. But this time, Tami Mikbal was um, beaten uh, because the ball was angled in and Ritiman Saha behind the stumps uh, took the catch. <coughs> he was gone for four. So that was the first to get four of two balls with one four. Tommy Mikbal was a goner and they were four for one. Uh, Anamul Haq was joined in by debutant Mithun Ali who looked good I thought with his uh, batting but uh, Mohit Sharma uh, came back and in, this, uh, in, his, uh, in his next very next over 
he came in and dismissed uh, Anamul Haq. Anamul Haq was a goner as he was caught by Rahane trying to actually carve a ball through the point region. The ball was shot, but Anamul Haq uh, connected, but connected it straight to point. Rahane took the catch and he was walking for a duck. So that made the score 13 for 2 and suddenly there was some, uh, Bangladesh were in some trouble. Uh, Mushfiqur Rahim, the captain, walked in to join um, uh, Mithun Ali and uh, both of them uh, slowly uh, tried to resurrect the situation uh, because they didn't have to take much risk but the ball was definitely moving but one thing that one was seeing here as far as this particular game particular when Bangladesh were batting was that the ball was not only moving but the bounce was much awkward uh, than what it was for the Indians so that really really tells you what happened and suddenly uh, uh, Stuart Binney was pressed into action uh, as Stuart Binney as soon as Stuart Binney came, in fact he had bowled two overs, two minutes, no runs on one wicket and this was his third over and now I am going to talk about the procession as far as the Bangladeshi innings is concerned and you will also see how Stuart Binney took six wickets for four runs uh, on his, in his, uh, and, uh, in, uh, by bowling six, uh, six overs. So the first to go was uh, Mithun Ali. As I said, the score had moved on to 44. Uh, Binney in his third over uh, came in and um, uh, Mithun Ali was trying to flick Binney, he, he had done his part, he had done a good job there uh, put, um, uh, making 26 runs but this was a very soft dismissal, Binney trying to flick Mithun Ali, the ball was uh, coming in and in fact uh, he flicked it uh, straight down to square leg's throat and Mithun Ali was uh, walking after making 26 runs. So that was the wicket number 3 for Bangladesh <coughs> and Binney in the same over, the very next delivery, uh, Mahmudullah who just came in the very first delivery, the ball was wide and outside the off stump and Bamudullah uh, trying to play it through the gully region was caught uh, very well by Ambati Raidu and he was gone and at the end of over 14, uh, Bangladesh, the half the side of Bangladesh were into the pavilion at 52 for 5 and then the, that was the ball of the day which was coming and that was Shakib Bil Hassan, the left arm, uh, Shakib Bil Hassan, uh, the best batsman for Bangladesh who was there at the crease but Mohit Sharma came in and actually uh, got a ball which actually not only had movement but also bounced and Shaki uh, Bilasan was, uh, uh, you know, uh, in fact, uh, uh, he got an uh, edge, on, I mean, while he was playing, it, the, the bat actually went and actually uh, kissed the edge and uh, he was gone as the ball actually, it was a team catch actually, he was trying to, uh, you know, probably uh, just, you know, tap it to the covers uh, but uh, the edge had actually gone on and uh, Ridiman Saha behind the stumps had taken the catch and after that in the same over Mohit Sharma also picked up Ziau Rahman's wicket as Ziau Rahman went for a, a big hit there uh, and the ball was high up in the air and it was a slower ball from Mohit Sharma Ziau Rahman uh, went for the stroke the ball went up in the air Akshar Patel took the catch and Ziau Rahman was gone caught Patel bowled Sharma for duck and Bangladesh were really, really reeling at that stage at 54 for 7 and uh, they were under immense pressure but hope was there, Nasir Hussain was at the crease not out on 4, joined in by Mashraf e Murtaza but Mashraf e Murtaza, once again Bini was into business uh, Bini came in, now this was a very, very good delivery from Stuart Bini again coming in, angled in from wide of the crease uh, on the off stump uh, and, um, um, and it was Murtaza completely squared up and uh, that's gone, the Saha behind the stumps had taken the catch and that was the 16th over had gone and uh, things were and then we, uh, we, we came on to the 18th over and the 18th over was the one uh, which really finished off Bangladesh as Bini as I said came on to pick up his fourth wicket and that was a big wicket, it was, a, it was an outswinger uh, it was an outswinger which was actually swinging um, I mean it was, it was a wide outswinger I thought from uh, Stuart Bini to Nasir Hussain and uh, in fact uh, Nasir Hussain was trying to drive it, there was absolutely no foot movement and that's it, uh, the, the ball had actually gone on to hit the stumps of an inside edge and Nasir Hussain was walking bold, Bini for 5 and the last man to be dismissed was Al Hamin Hussain, the number 11 batsman as uh, he tried to actually push at a ball, the ball took the outside edge and uh, that was it, that was the 5th wicket for, uh, it was the 6th wicket for uh, Stuart Bini and as I said, Stuart Binney returned the best figures. Now, Stuart Binney is the one who holds the record uh, for the best figures by an Indian bowler in a one-day international. His bowling figures read 4.4 overs, 2 maidens, 4 runs, 
and six wickets. Can you believe it? 4.4 overs, two maidens, four runs, six wickets. And that was the bowling analysis as far as Stuart Binney was concerned. Bangladesh were all out for 58. The target was 106. Bangladesh were all out for 58 in 17.4 overs. A dismal performance from Bangladesh. They have also lost the series 2-0. Now because there's only one more match to go. India won the match by the 47 runs by the Duckworth Lewis method because rain was into the picture as you know. Well, dear fans and subscribers, I can only say uh, that Bangladesh played some very crazy shots, especially Tamim Iqbal. After hitting a boundary of the very first ball, there was no need for Tamim Iqbal to throw his bat and try to hit the second ball also for a boundary. He could have just waited because the, the task was not a big one. I mean, they could have just taken their please. I mean, they had so many overs left and uh, this was not a display that uh, the crowd would have expected from Bangladesh. Bangladesh are really, really have disappointed in a big way here. But well, dear fans and subscribers, I don't have much time today, but uh, even though my health was not okay, I still wanted to come and talk to you, dear fans and subscribers, because you are the ones who make this cricket show, the cricket happening show go, and you're going, uh, you're making it go in a big way, no doubt about that. And you know, I'm also very happy giving you the pleasure as you're also enjoying my cricket happening show, uh, which only makes me more, uh, more and more motivated to do this cricket show, uh, whatever be the position. So let's have a cricket update here. Uh, this is coming in from uh, the uh, the uh, the the match between the second test uh, which is happening between uh, West Indies and New Zealand at Port of Spain uh, in Trinidad uh, where West Indies in reply to New Zealand's 221 all out are 77 for 2 they lost their uh, the night watchman Ben today pretty early it was clean ball by Saudi for 4 uh, currently we have uh, Kirk Edwards batting on 33 5 fours and 1 6 and Craig Brathwaite is 34 so definitely the situation uh, has been really really steadied by both these batsmen they have taken the score along uh, the partnership has um, really uh, really grown here and uh, well it can 62 runs is the current partnership right now and the partnership is going strong it's very uh, it's essential for West Indies but all they want to put up a big score on the board and put the pressure on New Zealand they need to really really get this partnership going it's already moving but it has to really move in a big way well dear fans and subscribers I just want to say this sensational match between India and Bangladesh uh, which is um, which is really coming up like a, a sort of a real surprise. 105 uh, India all out, not even playing the fifth, uh, the the 41 overs quota, and then Bangladesh uh, rooted out for 58 with Stuart Binney returning figures of six wickets for four runs, the best ODI figures um, uh, by an Indian bowler in One Day Internationals, thus eclipsing the record that was standing in the name of the former great leg spinner Anil Kumble. Well, dear fans and subscribers. On this very note, your host Ram is going to take leave now, but promising you that you will be seeing me on my next Cricket Happening show tomorrow. And I will also be dwelling on the uh, second day's play, which is right now happening at Trinidad in Port of Spain between West Indies and, uh, West Indies and, uh, um, and New Zealand, which I will be talking about tomorrow. Well, dear fans and subscribers, I hope you all enjoyed my cricket show. Uh, and uh, th that's about it. And uh, see you all tomorrow. Thank you.